everyone, and welcome to part two of the uh, conversion to solid state of this BC 455B model radio command set. Um, the last video, we showed you what we did on top of the radio, which wasn't much. The bottom was completely stripped of the wire and all the resistors and capacitors. Uh, in this video, the update is that uh, we installed the transformer on this plate. The plate is installed on the uh, top mount of the chassis. Um, you're going to notice that I did decide to add a power supply fuse for the transformer and to the right of that we decided to keep the original socket and then if you notice uh, right there there's a, a radio chassis punched I use on this and you've noticed the sides are straight now why are those edges straight well if you look at a Heiko uh, strain relief it has straight sides on it one on that side one on the other side what is that for? We'll show you. Straight sides keep it from rotating. See, it can't rotate. I don't think it's gonna, I think this is just kind of a nice thing, not a need to have. And if you do want to get a radio chassis punch, this is a Greenlee. You see the sides are ground down. Each side is ground down. So uh, when that pulled through, tightened it, it pulled through it, this pulled out, you can see the sides are straight. So that's just a little nice to have, not a not a need to have. Let's take a look underneath the chassis. Okay, there's some uh, progress going on here. It's not 100% complete. But let's see. But now, as you can see, uh, we do have quite a bit of wiring going on, components, little resistors, capacitors, transistors. This is the uh, BFO oscillator, and the BFO oscillator's uh, transistor is right there. And then the output of the oscillator goes into the third IF. And I don't show it here, but there's a 1N34 detector that goes through here. I haven't installed that yet. And haven't installed the RF chokes either. So this is just kind of a little update progress report. And notice uh, the wire. I drilled a hole in the side of this uh, container that holds the front panel, um, uh, which is right there. And uh, it just found out it was easier to run the wires through the side. You could run them through here. But the problem is with that, once you install the RF coils, it gets pretty tight. And I just thought it would be better to go through the side, uh, which I did. And uh, uh, another interesting thing here, this, if you can see this little pad, there's four pads there. This is the mixer. Right in the center is a little BF996 uh, mixer. It, that chip has four legs on it. Each one of those pads is soldered to the leg. And you could make the pad. Uh, Charles Smith shows you exactly how to make it in the manual. And, uh, and it's soldered to this little post that you see. Um, and I'm going to show you a picture of the chip. Yeah, yeah there you go little tiny thing. Now that is used as a mixer. Here's the mixer that was uh, 1930s technology that was in the radio, the original mixer. How about that for size? 12K8. So this is 1930s technology. This little guy is 1990s, about 55 years apart. So we did show you in the last video that we do have the regulator that will go here. Let's see. <laughs> well, something like that. So there's the regulator power supply. So uh, we'll go on to part three when this thing is complete. And uh, appreciate you watching the video. Again, it's the BC 455 being converted to all solid state. And we'll see you next time around. Thanks for watching.